Well, hello everybody. Welcome to PBM Money. Today I'm going to talk about my new student profile. Now, some of you may or may not know that in my spare time, <laughs> that's funny because I have no spare time, but somehow or other, um, God has blessed me and so I made a promise to God that whatever he blesses me in, I would bless others. And uh, I have spent the last year or so helping a young lady with her finances get back on her feet. And she's about ready to go on her own. So as she's preparing to fly away on her own, God has put another young man in my purview, and and I'm going to help him. And I have to be honest with you, I have gotten a little, I don't want to say jaded, but I, dubious, paint me dubious. Um, whenever people come around asking about money, because their level of commitment has to be at least as much as mine. And with the last young lady I was helping, I had to at one point set her down and tell her, um, I'm the most important thing in your life for the next year. And if I'm not, then I'm not interested because if you don't care about your finances enough to make me a priority, why should I? I don't care about your money. And by the way, I should mention I do all of this for free on my own time. Uh, and so for me, if you're going to be 10 minutes late, I'm busy. Five minutes early is on time to me. Just a pet peeve, but when you have no time, it's important. So anyway, I work with this young man. And, uh, and we were t chatting one day, and uh, he was telling me that he was having some issues. And, uh, and so I told him some things, and he took those bones home and chewed on them and came back, and he had some good questions for me. And so we've had conversations at work. And uh, so finally, I, I d decided to test the waters. And I asked him to take some action. I asked him to do two or three things. He did one, which, okay. But I wanted to come on today. This is, I'm, I'm probably going to do with him like I did with the last young lady. And I'll, I'll make a series of videos about the experiences that I have teaching him. And I, and so to get off to the right foot, I kind of want to give you a profile of who this young man is. He's a 22-year-old male. He started to go to school uh, and then uh, quit. Um, he brings home around $2,200 a month. He has a $500 car payment, a $100 truck payment. He has a total credit card bill of around $1,900. And he has around a 640 credit rating. Now, the credit rating uh, is only what he's told me. I don't know that to be a fact. Uh, I asked him to go get a credit card, and I know the young lady that I was helping had a 650 and got the credit card, and he says he has a 640 and doesn't. So, anyway, I told him to... Uh, get a copy of his credit bureau and bring it to me and we'll see. He currently has a roommate and is paying $300 a month plus they've divided up the bills. Now, his goals are to learn about money and to build wealth. He says nobody has set him down and explained how to get, how to use credit, in fact, his parents told him never get a credit card. Um, he doesn't understand what wealth is. He doesn't understand about 
paying bills on time. He doesn't understand about savings. He's really ignorant about money. Um, now, the obstacles that I see that we have to overcome, number one is his credit rating. Uh, because we're going to be relying on the ability to go to the bank and get a loan in about a year or two So we need to get his credit rating up pretty quick. So that's a top priority uh, His age is an obstacle and a benefit. It's an obstacle because at 22 years old I will be fighting um, The will that he knows everything He's indefens or you know indestructible, which is normal, but it can be uh, an issue. Um, another obstacle would be the debt that he's got on his credit card. Um, I don't think that's too big a debt. I don't think it's too big of an obstacle. He's got enough cash flow. We we ought to be able to knock that up pretty quick. Now. The positives that I see uh, with this whole situation is he has a decent job uh, and it, it's a stable job as long as he's willing to perform. He has a decent income coming in um, and he has a willingness to learn, which is important. Um, what brought everything to a head for him is his roommate is uh, moving in a girlfriend and uh, not going to divide the bills by three but keep it by two and uh, and the young man that I'm helping is tired of making money and having nothing to show for it he wants to learn how to get something for it and one of the one of the positives um, was I was telling him about house hacks and uh, he has w voluntarily without a recommendation for me volunteered to move back in with his mom and dad um, until he can get on his feet mom and dad have agreed they're not going to charge him anything they're not going to make him pay any bills uh, so he'll have basically no expenses outside of his car and insurance so we ought to be able to do some immediate uh, progress. I told him to go to the bank and open two accounts, and this is the action that he took. He opened a emergency account with $500. He's going to put $500 a month into that account for the next few months. I also told him to open an investment account, and into that account uh, put X amount of dollars into that and that will probably vary by month um, as I see it we will build his emergency fund to only a couple thousand dollars because uh, he's young his vehicle is new he's living with mom and dad he really should have no emergencies but I want him to get up on the right foot uh, his investment account right now we're not going to do too much with uh, but in the very near future, and by near future, I mean three or four months, I suspect we're going to cut that emergency fund down to a hundred dollars, and uh, we're going to be putting eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month into his investment account, and uh, from there we're going to open up a um, a uh, stock fund, uh, and that will be taken out automatically. Also into this investment account, uh, we are going to uh, not only have uh, a stock index fund taken out every month, uh, we're going to use that account also to build up cash so he can go buy his first investment property. And I see that happening in a year as long as he can stay disciplined and stick with the plan. Now, I realize because of his age, that keeping his eye on the ball will be very tricky, especially if he meets a young lady. Um, and as soon as that happens, I'm out. I'm not competing. Uh, but between now and the time that that happens, 
I see a lot of potential for this young man. Uh, I told him that he can easily, depending on how long he can keep his expenses down, I told him easily by the time he's 30, he will be independent. He won't. He will not need to work if he doesn't choose to, uh, because uh, he's got a lot of potential in cash that he can take and invest. As an example, if he saves a thousand dollars a month, uh, that's twelve thousand. That's sixty thousand in five years. For 60000 he can go put down a nice down payment on a really nice duplex and live for free for the rest of his life, if he chooses to, which I think is a good idea. That'll give his credit rating time to get up to where it needs to be. He'll have a lot of cash in the bank, um, and he will still only be 27 years old at that time and uh, have a nice nice future ahead of him and I see that happening um, right out of the right out of the gate he wanted to go rent a storage unit to put his stuff in and I said I don't mean to be rude but you're 22 years old why would what do you have that's worth a hundred dollars a month and so he went down he said oh I got a couple of freezers I said a couple of freezer a, a freezer you could buy for a thousand dollars so you're going to spend $1,200 a year to store a used one when you're not going to use it. Sell the darn thing, save the $100 a month, and then when you're ready to go buy one, just go buy a new one for cash. That's a month worth of savings for you. So he's got a lot to learn, but he also has a lot of potential and he's willing to learn, and he has already shown the willingness to do that. So I look forward to it. Uh, I hope he sticks to it, and I will bring you updates on the progress that he's making, the steps that we take, and uh, the decisions that he makes. That's about all I want to tell you. You guys have a great day, a great week, and happy investing.